Welcome back. In this video, we will look at conversion between data types in Dart. So we will look at converting integers to strings, converting doubles to strings, converting strings to integers, converting strings to double, converting integers to double, and converting doubles to integers. So we're going to start off with converting int to a string. So I'm going to declare an integer there, and let's say it's number of people equals 20. So let's say that's my integer I want to convert to a string. So if I say string uh, number of people, by the way, while we are at this specific line, you can see that I cannot declare number of people again. They say the name number of people is already defined. So you cannot have two variables with exactly the same name. So I'm going to say number of people text equals and now to convert this integer to a string i think we've done this before we will just go and say number of people which is this integer of 20 and we're going to put the dot there and there's a two string method and this two string method will convert this number of people which is 20 to a string 20 and if we print this out then let's say print number of people text if you run it you can see it is still a 20 but in this case it is a string 20 that gets printed out well uh, actually if we print out that 20 or just number of people there this this one there it actually is also converting it to a string and then printing it to the console but in text if you want to work with it later on this is how you will convert to a string so Number of people text will be number of people dot to string. And that's how you convert an integer to a string by just calling the to string method. Now let's look at the next one, which is converting a double to a string. So let's say we've got double temperature equals 38.547, something like that. So let's say that's the temperature. Now to get a string representation of this, so let's call it temp text equals, I'm going to go to temp and just call that same to string method again. So this is how you will convert a double to a string. Now let's just print out this one and see if we can make some other changes to it. So let's print out that temp text. So if we print it out, you can see it will still be that 38.547. But what we did here is in this variable called temp text, we converted this double there to a string. But there's also some other useful methods that we can use here instead of just saying to string. So let's say we want to round off this value a bit before we save it as a string. So we can use a method to string. So if you just type to string there, let me just use the dot there again, to string. And you can see there's a as fixed method to string as fixed which means i can round off this to let's say two decimal places and if i run this now it converted that to a string but with two decimal places rounded so you can see it's 38.55 so it's a string but it's rounded i can also even round it off with zero decimal places and you can see it will basically give me a 39 there because it's rounded but it's now a string. So for doubles, you can use not only to string, but to string as something else also. And there's other two methods also that you can look at, but I think this one is a very useful method. So for this method, to string as fixed, you can pass in the number of decimal places that you want, and it rounds it off for you nicely. Okay, so I'm not going to use the print statements there. Let's say we want to convert now the other way around so that we had integer to string and double to string so now we're going to look at string to int and string to double so how will we do that so let's say we we start off with an age of 20 but you can see the age here is now a string 20 and i want to convert that string to an integer so how do we do that so let's create the integer here and we call it age int equals int dot pass now this method takes in a string and it will convert that string 
to an integer. So I can type, for example, 30 there, and it will convert that 30 to an integer and save it into the variable. Now, you will agree that if you try to convert the word hello to an integer, you could get a problem there. So actually, I don't think there's error handling in here. You can see there is some format exception. Uh, hello cannot be converted to an integer. So it will give you an error there. So the pass there accepts a string, yes, but the string must be an integer. So in this case, let's say we want to use the age variable there instead of 20. So I'm going to pass in age, which is in fact passing in the 20. It converts that 20 to an integer and saves it back. So if I run this again, everything should be fine. We're not printing anything, so it won't print anything to the screen. If you want to print it out, you can print age int there, run it, and it will print that integer to the screen, which should be the 20. Right, so let's see how we can convert then a string to a double. So I'm going to use string now. I've already got temp there, so let me make this one temperature equals and let's say the temperature is 20.5 degrees now uh, you can see it gives me a problem there because i'm assigning a double to it i should assign some text to it so i want to convert the string temperature which is 20.5 now to a double so let's declare a double variable temperature double equals type in double so remember what we did there we started with int then pass and now it's just double dot pass and you can pass in the string there that needs to be converted to a double in this case it's called temperature so i'm going to pass in temperature and it will convert that temperature 20.5 to a double that i can actually do calculations on so now in both these cases you can ask but how on earth why would why would i have numbers as text well, in some text editors, also where the, where the user maybe types his, his name and then his age, and after typing his age, you click a button. And uh, some of those controls send back that data as a string. And then you need to convert that string back to a double or to an integer so that you can actually use it afterwards. Okay, so now this is converting from, first we did int to string and double to string. Then we did the other way around, string to int and string to double. Something that is an integer or a double and you want to convert it to a string, you can just use to string. Or for doubles, you can use to string as fixed. And then the other way around, you need to use these pass methods, either int or double. Now let's look at the last two. If I want to convert an integer to a double, let's declare an integer. So. Let's look at a rugby match and we've got the number of tries there and let's say the number of tries in the game is 10. So if I want to convert that tries now to a double, not that you can get 10.5 tries, but just as an example. Okay, so I'm going to say double tries double equals. Now, you remember previously that we said I can actually use 10 there and you can see there's no error, even though 10 is not a double. 10 is an integer. That's allowed because the Dart language will convert this automatically to a 10.0. But it's not true for variables. If I just assign the variable tries there, it picks up an error. The value of type int cannot be assigned to a variable of type double because what is inside of there is the 10, but it's not a literal, it's a variable in this case. Then the Dart language will not do anything with it. It will actually give you an error. So we need to convert this integer to a double before we save it back into this variable. Now, luckily, there's a very easy method for this, and we can use the to double method, and that will convert the integer to a double and save it back as a double. Right, so no, nothing difficult there. It's just using the to double method. Now, let's look at converting a double to an integer. Now this gets interesting. So let's just find something here. So I'm going to say, let's say it's the nighttime temperature uh, because we have, we've got temperature and we've got temp there. So let's say a double night temperature equals 38.67 degrees Celsius. That's quite hot. And we want to convert this now to an integer. Now in order to convert a double to an integer, you can see if I've got a double of 38.67, there's the decimal part that will be thrown away. So you need to look 
closely at what you want to do with this double when converting it to an integer because just converting it you need to know what am I going to do with that dot six seven do I want to just leave it out or do I want to maybe round it off or what do I want to do so there's different methods in order to convert from a double to an integer so let's declare our integer and I'm going to call it temperature int don't think I've got a temperature int yet uh, and equals and now I'm going to look that look at that night temperature that variable and there's a few methods that we can use there's a seal there's a floor there's a round there's a truncate so let's look at those quickly so let's look at the seal method and what I want to do actually is to print this one out so let's print out temp int and run it quickly so I'm using the seal method there and if I print it out you will see it gives me a 39. So where is that other print statement? I'm just going to comment that one out. So we only get this 39 printed to the console. So 39. So basically it rounded it, but how did it do it? So um, if I have a look at, let me just make this one a bit bigger. At the seal method, you see it says returns the, the least integer no smaller than the value that you passed in okay so it returns the least the smallest integer but no smaller than the value that you have so the smallest integer not smaller than 38.67 which will be a 39 because 39 is not smaller than 38.67 okay so that's the seal method so let's look at another method there so instead of using seal let's use floor and see what that's, that one does so I'm going to run it and you see it's 38 so let's look at the method floor it returns the greatest integer no greater than the one that you have so the biggest integer which is not greater than 38.67 so it should be the 38 because 38 is the biggest integer that's not bigger than 38.67 okay so that's floor let's look at another one round so I think we all know what round will do it returns the integer closest to your value so 38.67 should return a 39 there if you round it off so that's a 39 okay let's look at the last method there truncate so truncate if I run it I think it will just going to give us a 38 there so if you click on it, it returns the integer obtained by disregarding every, any fractional digits. So in most programming languages, if you convert an int or a, a double to an integer, it will just throw away the decimal part. And that's exactly what this truncate method does. It will just throw away the decimal part. So this is how you convert then a double to an integer. So there's a few methods you can look at uh, depending on what you want to do and what is the value that you want to get back from this. So go and have a look at those three methods, four methods again. So if you put the dot there, it's seal, floor, round, and truncate. And go and have a look at what each and every one of them does, and then decide where you want to use it, or which one of those you actually want to use to convert your double to an integer. That's all for this video. See you in the next one.